Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message Sagittarius for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians please, Angel Spirits Guides? What does Sagittarius need to hear the most for the week please? Thank you. We have the Queen of Cups. Germany, it's a card of cancer for me, for me as a reader. Okay, angels, what is the message for Sagittarius, please? A message for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. wow we have it with trust so the queen of cups and the word of trust okay so i'm going to pull four cards the first card is you your current situation second card is your challenge third card advice from spirit fourth card is your outcome and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you Sagittarius okay so what do we have for Sagittarius please okay the card has turned over already there we are and it is Sagittarian energy the ten of wands your challenge page of cups The Four of Pentacles is advice from spirit and the magician, <laughs> very beautiful, is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Sagittarius please, angel spirits guides for the week, 18th to the 24th of January 2021, thank you. Do we have four Sagittarius, please? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so two page of cups, which is a, dom it's a dominating energy here, Sagittarius. Very beautiful. Let's clarify this page of cups. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There you are, Sagittarius, Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Okay. And we have the Magician clarified with the King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So just give me a moment. <laughs> it made me laugh that that has come out so strongly. A lot of Sagittarian energy in this reading, which is beautiful. Yeah. So the Queen of Cups. Sagittarius, I have to say, now is the time to trust this. It's about trusting your heart, trusting what your heart wants. Because for some of you, there could be someone new coming into your life offering you love. Because you have the opportunity, let me show you this. We have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, and the beginnings of manifesting something new. So you can see where I'm going with this. <laughs> the cards are very clear. There is an opportunity to manifest Oh my goodness, new love with somebody, a new relationship that feels very connected to each other, like-minded souls, the perfect match energy in this reading, um, somebody is absolutely right for you, this person is absolutely right for you, and it's guided, this is guided energy, you're being told to trust how you're being guided now, what your heart is telling you. This is an energy of 
Nothing else matters. Listen to your heart. Because for some of you, we have in your challenge position and in your current position, carrying weights of the past. And it's weights and burdens that have built over some time. And they've built over some time to the point where it's a 10, which is a completion energy. Something can be over if you allow it to be over, but you're still carrying baggage of the past. And the new wants to come into your life in the most unexpected way, in the most beautiful, surprising way here. But it's almost kind of like there's no room for this to come in when you're carrying all this. Um, this slows the progress of this happening. And the Page of Cups, it feels for some of you a message of love, something new. Pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Um, and for this, it definitely feels in terms of an offer of love, um, new love. And that is your challenge. And what your challenge is, here's the interesting thing, how the cards have reversed because this is where the dominant energy is the burden. Whereas the dominant energy in the challenge position is for this to overcome the burden, release the burdens of the past in order to bring the new in. Yeah. And the Four of Pentacles, the advice from Spirit is, what are you holding on to? You've been tested in the past, I can see. This is, uh, this is Saturn in Sagittarius, the Ten of Wands. You've been tested. You've gone through a testing time of the past. And it feels like you're still holding on to the baggage from the past. And again, there's the energy with the Four of Pentacles of what are you holding on so tightly to that it's not allowing you to bring progress in your current situation. And the Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. He is about getting back on the horse and going for something now, charging ahead, being all fired up, you know, his passions being ignited and going for where his passions lead him now, you know, because there is growth, there is potential um, with the Knight of Wands. I mean, this can be an exciting opportunity as well coming your way uh, that brings change nevertheless, but change is available to you. And you're being told, Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands gets on the horse, but he can leave it a difficult situation behind him. And sometimes with the Knight of Wands, you think, oh, thank goodness I am putting that behind me and bringing change and going to where my passions lead me to bring growth into my life, to go for what I want, to bring success and growth and passion into my life once more. It is about getting back on the horse. I mean, sometimes I see the Knight of Wands as now is the time to release what you're holding on so tightly to and it feels like to do with the past and get back on the horse and charge ahead and go for something now. Because the Eight of Pentacles, in a way, this can be about something that's worth putting your time and energy into, something that's going to bring growth and stability and security. Um, but this is also a card of mastery, the need to master something. And again, with the King of Cups, it feels like master your heart, rise above situations that have pulled you under for a period of time, pulled you under that ocean because the King of Cups sits on top of the ocean and he understands how to find emotional mastery in order to bring, you know, the energy of his suit into his life. So he understands how to bring love into his life, how to master his emotions and be ready to manifest new paths. Could be with a Scorpio, could be with a Cancer. I mean, it could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Sagittarius, it could be a water sign here who's in your reading, but there's definitely a powerful relationship of like-minded souls, like-minded individuals, the perfect match relationship, finding a perfect match here. And now this is the magic, you know, finding magic with somebody. Um, it's time to manifest. 
The magician understands that he has no control over people. He has no control over his external environment. He can't control things beyond, you know, in his external environment, but he can control how things affect him from within. And when there's, a mess, there's an energy of self-mastery, now is the time to master what's gone before. It means that you're ready to manifest that new path. And when the magician appears, it's time. It's the perfect time. Everything is ready. Everything is in place. The ingredients are all lined up for growth, for changing something negative to positive, an idea to reality, new love. So definitely this energy here of just a beautiful energy, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, it's perfect match, perfect heart matches, you know, it's, it's definitely this energy of a deep soul connection here with somebody that you're able to manifest a new path, put your time and energy into that, bring growth into that situation, because now the time is ripe for that to happen and release the burdens of the past. Okay. Mm. Love the energy, we have precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' times either. And you see, this is about time. This is about time. This is about time in a way. Giving your time and energy to the past, to the past burdens, and not giving your time and energy to what matters more, which is definitely this energy of new love. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.